Hey guys, the Formula Renault 3.5 series is at Barcelona this week, so we've got a fresh circuit for you guys to learn here on VRS, but uh, what I found most interesting was how Martin really attacked this first turn, uh, it, and the way the coach kind of describes how he was able to maximize his brake pressure, what he did uh, as he turned in, and the technique he used to make sure he hit the apex as closely as possible, and how this uh, driving style is really maximized by, by this car. Uh, I, all that I found really interesting, so I'm going to play a short little clip from the tutorial. Make sure to sign up for VRS if you'd like to see the full thing, but uh, here's a quick little clip from that tutorial. Thanks for watching. Really deep into the braking zone, looking for the 100 board here on the left. Uh, and uh, promptly ignoring it, going right past it, and uh, braking pretty much. The hundred's almost like a warning. Um, it's just after that that we're braking. It's probably closer to this uh, little service road that, that juts in on the left there. Um, pretty firm application of brake for Martin, uh, peaking at about 75% brake pressure, uh, and as per usual with his style, and a style that really suits this car, um, just dragging out of the brake. Uh, reducing brake pressure, that is, uh, when when turn-in phase begins, uh, and just holding on to 5-10% brake pressure just to keep enough weight across the front axle, uh, and that helps with the rotation, and uh, you can kind of fine-tune how much rotation you're getting from the car uh, more effectively with the brake pedal than you can actually with the wheel itself. So uh, we're looking to keep a fairly stable wheel, um, fairly smooth inputs on the wheel, and just uh, sort of fine-tuning the tracking of the car in relation to the apex that we're aiming for. Uh, if we're looking like we're going to apex too early, then uh, we are reducing our brake pressure to allow the car to understeer just a bit. And uh, if we find that we are not quite tracking to the apex uh, effectively, then we might increase a little bit of brake pressure, which just helps with the rotation, just pulls the front end in towards the inside of the corner. Uh, so that's what you can see here. You can see Martin's heavy on the brakes when he's in a straight line. And just as we're beginning to turn in, we're reducing our brake pressure because we can't get away with that amount of brake pressure and that amount of steering angle. It just doesn't work. Uh, defies the laws of physics, that is. So getting out of the brake, holding on to 5-10% uh, roughly all the way through until the apex point, which is here. Uh, and then really loading into about two-thirds throttle straight away and blending into full throttle shortly after between apexes, just, just unloading the rear axle.